And you don't have to necessarily toss the brush in your hand. Just do it with your wrist in these scooping motions going up. And we're gonna hit the bottom of the hair going up like that. And the blow dryer needs to be coming from below the brush. So it's blowing the hair up. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura, I'm a hairstylist. And today I'm here with my mom and I'm gonna teach her how to blow dry and style her hair. So the last video I did with my mom did so well. You guys really loved it. And I noticed a lot of the comments, people were saying that they couldn't blow dry or style their hair the same way I did. And so this gave me an idea. My mom also struggles with blow drying her hair. So I figured I would give her a lesson and film it so you guys can maybe try to blow dry your hair the same way. So you're gonna shake the can a bit and then spray about a, start with a quarter size in your hand. Okay, show it to the camera. Okay, so that's how much we're starting with. And I want you to rub that a little bit between your hands and put it really at your crown area back here, not throughout all of your hair. You don't wanna pull the mousse throughout the ends of your hair because then uh, you're gonna be weighing the ends down. Okay. So the best way to do it, I had you start with a quarter size because I knew we were gonna need to do a little bit more. So about that much, rub it a bit between your hands and try to get under the hair rather than getting it all around. So then you can get under and you're really trying to just get it at the root rather than throughout the rest of your hair. Okay, okay so next we're gonna go with some prime spray. And this is again, this is a demineralizing spray and I think it's a good um, setting for blow drying. So go ahead and just spray that throughout your hair a bit. Hold it a little further away and that's Probably enough right there. You don't want to go too much with it. And then you can kind of just mess it up to get it distributed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'll take the blow dryer and I would hold the blow dryer in your left hand okay. because you're going to have the brush in your right hand. So having the brush in your dominant hand, that's what works best for me, but not everybody is like that. I just find I have better control of the brush in my right hand and the blow dryer is fine in my left hand. Now, I just cut her hair, so it's roughly towel dried. I recommend letting your hair air dry a little bit before you get started. And if you don't have time to air dry it, then rough dry it with the blow dryer a little bit just to get a good amount of the moisture out so that you're not having to do quite as much work with the round brush. To start, I'm gonna have her blow dry this back end up, giving it an upwards motion. You'll use this hand and you'll take it up. There you go. Try to move the blow dryer around too. See if you can get it from this angle too. Can you, you can, there you go. Now you can already see just what that did. That has started to create a little bit of this flip back here and we haven't even touched the brush yet. Now for the top and the front, I'm gonna have her take the blow dryer and blow dry a lot of it back. Okay, so here we haven't even started with the brush yet and she's already starting to get the right shape going. So the back here we're taking up and the top and the sides and the front we're taking back. So what I'm gonna have her do is section out the nape of her hair. So the nape is just below the occipital bone. So I'm gonna have her section her hair right here and clip all of this out of the way so that we're only working on this bottom part. There you go, good job. Now, the way that she's going to do this is she's gonna take the brush in her right hand and she's going to do almost like scooping motions. And you don't have to necessarily toss the brush in your hand, just do it with your wrist in these scooping motions going up. And we're gonna hit the bottom of the hair going up like that. And the blow dryer needs to be coming from below the brush. So it's blowing the hair up. There you go. Oh. 
if you need to switch hands, you can try switching hands. Set the brush down and then hold the blow dryer with this and just blow it all up now. So now this section is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do it opposite and we're going to be going down. So she's going to be going like this to brush this down. Mm -hmm. And when you have this motion, you're creating volume because you're lifting and then you're pulling it back mm -hmm. down. So you're lifting here and then you're pulling it out and down, lifting and pulling it out and down. Good. Here, let me show you. Let me just take your hand. Can you do that? Yeah. There you go. That's perfect. Look at how cute that looks. She's doing this completely herself. She's doing such a good job. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the sides. So I'm going to have her clip the hair up from here up and we're gonna focus right on this side here okay so this is gonna go back so this right here she needs to turn this way so can you do mm -hmm. this with your hand so it's the same type of movements but we're going forward and back forward and back okay. pull this up, coming from higher And try to make sure you're following where the brush is with the blow dryer so that you're, there you go. Look at how much volume she's got. Look at that. Okay, so now we're going to do kind of at an angle. So we're, since you part your hair this way, we're going to take a section kind of diagonally through here. So it's kind of the top and the side. Now we're going to do this part. So we're going to find where her part is and we're going to do this side and finish this side off. Now this hair up front is most of the way dry, so this shouldn't take very long to do these front pieces. And now you can set the brush down and just use your hand. Take the blow dryer from this angle. There you go. Okay, now we're gonna do this final section. So she's gonna take this up and down and kind of pull it down a little bit. So see that? Okay. You wanna hold the blow dryer though from up here. It's okay. gotta be coming from this angle. Uh -oh. There you go. Yeah, it's gotta be coming from, the blow dryer's gotta be coming. Ideally, it would like be nice if you can hold it like that. Okay. There you go. Now something to remember is you always wanna hold the hairspray eight inches from your hair. You never wanna be closer because if it's closer, it's gonna be way too concentrated in one area. It's gonna be wet and hard-like. Mm. I've actually seen damage caused in hair from people spraying really strong cold hairspray in one spot way too close and it created a buildup and actually caused breakage on the hair. So you wanna make sure that you're holding at least eight to 10 inches away from the head. Now we're gonna start in the back and we're gonna to wanna to take this up. So you'll take your left hand and you'll take that up, but you wanna make sure you're spraying upwards. So before you actually push that trigger, make sure that your, your can is underneath and aimed up. That's good. There you go, that's good. Okay, we need to hit it right from this angle. So there you go, yep, perfect. There you go. See, I like to do spurts. Oh. It helps if you do it in spurts. Okay. Then you're not spraying too much. We're gonna be spraying it from this way, up and okay. back. And you'll wanna stick your hand 
kind of in at your root. I like to stick it in and hold it there and then spray with my fingers lifting the hair like that. There you go. But spray from front. There you go. For your sides, you're gonna wanna brush the hair back. You can just brush it back with your fingers and then spray. Now, okay, now use your hand and just brush it back again. There you go, there you go. Now we're gonna do the other side. So remember, put brush it back first, okay? And then spray. Okay, so now for the front, these bangs come over and down. So you just wanna kind of pinch. I would just kind of pinch and get the bangs to sit in place. And then just lightly, you don't wanna do too much, especially up front, then just lightly do little spurts with the hairspray but coming from above, there you go, and going this way. So coming above, so the uh, something to keep in mind is that the hairspray and the blow dryer are often needing to go at the same angle. So you're wanting to blow the hair this way, so the blow dryer and the hairspray need to be coming from above going this way, angled like this, because that's the direction the hair wants to lay in. Yep, there you go. Now take your fingers and kind of just brush it through. All right, guys, so I'm gonna spin her around and give you the final view. She did a great job. All right, guys, if you have any other questions on how to blow dry or style your hair, leave them for me in the comments. And let me know how you think she did. Thanks for watching and have a good hair day.